The state television company of Western Armenia represent the most important news for today. Good day. Today's broadcast. Melina and Misak Manushans in the center of attention of Mandeli. The memory of Manushans group was honored in Paris. Red Camellias poem. Eighty years after the metidrome of remains of Misak and Melina Manushan were buried in the Paris Pantheon. The Azerbaijan arrested in Moscow was one of those who beheaded an elderly Armenian man during the war. The rich history of Armenians in Netherlands and Belgium. In the European Weightlifting Championship, the Armenian team won by Tim Count. Azerbaijan destroyed the past of Ivan Isokov. The Aris guests participated in the conference dedicated to Misak Manushan and the spirit of residence in France, which had been organized by the Armenian Circle of Mandelin, Nepal, and the National Council of Western Armenia in the Mediterranean Room in Mandelio. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Lydia Markusian, and the Mayor of Mandelio, Mr. Sebastian Leroy, apologized for their absence to the conference. Veteran Affairs Delegate Pierre Array, the opening Cervantes, thanked the President gathering paying tribute to the memory of Medina in Misak Manushan. Among others were present as well as Eric Betran, director of CCAs, Major Jean Ives Roger, president of Canus Pace de Lawrence, Major General Sulen Shahumyan, operational coordinator member of the government of Western Armenia, president of the National Association of Armenia, veterans and supporters Serge Vrej Abrahamian, Jean Armen Ghazarosian, President of the Association of French Veterans and Armenian Pre Resistance Warriors. Caroline Ohanesian, the President of the Armenian Circle of Mandelio, La Napole. Jean Claude Dupont, Vice President of the United Nations and President of the Association. As well as our guest, Major General Hamlet Minasian, the President of the UN ECOSOX Armenian Office, Vice President of ECOCRIM, International Committee for Combating Terrorism, Organized Crimes and Corruption Center for Strategic Analysis of Central Europe. In his introduction, the speaker, Mr. President Armen Abrahamian, recalled the roots of the French resistance, making a connection with the genocide committed against Armenia, carried out by the young Turks and organized by the German military apparatus in Western Armenia. Misak Manushan and Melinet, two children orphaned by the genocide, joined uh, France and continued their fight against the Nazi, Nazi occupier as part of the FTP. President Armen Abrahamian closed the conference by reading the letter written on the eve of Misak's death to Meline. At the end of the conference, Mr. Sarkis Ghazarian talked about the moments of his life spent with Misak Manushan. Major General Hamlet Minasian presented Major Janive Roger with the Medal of Honor of ECOSOX of Armenia. The body of Misak Manushan, a warrior of the French resistance movement, anti-fascist and national hero of France, will be reburied in the Cathedral of the Republic of France. On that occasion, banners dedicated to Manushan and his group were placed in different parts of Paris. Red Camellia's poem. Red Camellia's blooming uh, bouquet, a, a tribute to the sources you surrendered, your valiant battles have stood the test of time. However, has your example taught us? When we know what your people live in Artsakh, is it rebellious, hard, that is indigent and troubled? History takes us back to the tragic agony. Who turned the world upside down in an instant? Do you see this country destroyed? Many people surrender, others take us arms, and what can a peasant colonel in a field do? What can a peasant colonel in a field do? And the old fashioned rifles face the relentless drone. Red Camilla's bloom this spring, like many kisses that make the bashes blush. Your violent petals are now welcome, and it should produce generous buds soon. Today, on February 21, 2024, 80 years after his metadrome, the remains of warrior of the French resistance, the national hero of France, Isaac Manuchin, were buried at the highest state level in Pantheon of Paris. Thus, Misak Manushan became the first foreigner to be enriched in the pantheon containing the remains of French greats, where the remains of Manushan's wife, Meline, were also enshrined. In 1944, during one of the evenings organized by the Armenuhi Aid Committee, Misak met Meline Asatujan. He lost his parents during the genocide and spent his childhood with his older sister, Armenuhi, in the Smyrna Evangelical Orphanage. In 1922, after the disaster in Smyrna, he moved with his sister and other orphans to Greece, to the Corinth Orphanage. 
Armenuhi and Melina Asatujan moved to France with Adair Horfers in 1926 and settled in Marseille and then in Paris. Melina settled in the Paris suburb of Rennes, where she studied at the College of School Loving Ladies. Her sister Armenuhi became a tailor. After graduating from school, Melina and her sister rented an apartment from Cyril B. Papazian on Rue Louvi in the 6th approximate of Paris. Cyril B. lived in that house and was the uncle of Maminko Aznagurian's wife, Khar Baghdasarian's father. The son of Mami Konan Khanar was Shahnur Bahina Kaznavurian, the future singer Shah Naznavur. The Asatujan sisters and the Naznavurians soon became close. The material about Ms. Akmanushan is available on the website of Western Armenian TV. Fitness trainer Kayamil Zainali was arrested in Moscow. The official reasons for the arrest have not been announced. The Azerbaijan arrested in Russia not only in 2020, he instigated the attacks against Armenians in Moscow, but he is also one of the leaders of an early Armenian man during the 44-day war. There are also videos with his participant whether he either destroys or steals the property of abandoned apartments of Armenians in Artsakh. Kayam Zain Ali reported on social networks that Armenia announced an international search for him last May. Tomorrow he will stand before the Russian court. The rich history of Armenians in Netherlands and Belgium. Armenian merchant with the monkey approaches 1,700 and 1,725 from the Dutch National State Museum during the 17th and 18th centuries. Armenian merchants arrived in the Republic of United States or the United States of the Netherlands in three waves of immigration. The first wave arrived from Julfa, a suburb of Ifahan, Iran, and the Dutch called them Julfa Legion or Persians. The second group came from the major Ottoman seaports of Aleppo, Constantinople, and the third from Archangel, Moscow, and St. Petersburg. The main motivation for migration was the rise of the Dutch Republic and Amsterdam, in particular as a center of global economic activity in the 17th century. Armenian business houses in Amsterdam opened branches in, or in other European cities and countries. Venice, Leghorn, Marseille, Spain, Yellow, Amber was imported from the shores of the Baltic Sea, which was in great demand in Smyrna. The importation of Persian silk was almost entirely in the hands of Armenians in 1700. As the Mediterranean was um, overrun by pirates in that era, their ships were escorted by warships. One such sailing ship was called Kopman, Armenian, Merchant of Armenia. A consular report of 1653 stated that the Armenich Kopman escorted the uh, warship Gelderland had arrived safely at Smyrna. In the European Weightlifting Championship, the Armenian team won by team calculation. For the second year in a row, the Armenian team won the European Weightlifting Championship by the team court. The 2024 European Weightlifting Championship ended in Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria. On February 20, where the Eastern Armenian team took first place in the team calculation for the second year in a row. Armenian weightlifters won 10 big and 60 small medals this year, overtaking the team of the host country, Bulgaria, on the last day of the competition. Among the teams of 20 countries, Eastern Armenia is the leader in terms of both big and total medals. Bulgaria is the second place, Italy is in the third place, and the team of Eastern Armenia won four European Championships this year, repeating this result recorded in year one last year. After an eight year hiatus in Sofia, Armenia was able to win a gold medal in women's competition as well. 90 years old Alexander Grigorian was declared European champion in the 55 kilogram category. The last time we had a female European champion was in 2016. Nazik Avdalyan won the title in the 69 kilogram weight category. Azerbaijan destroyed the past of Hovane Sisakov. On February 16, 2024, it became known that the Azerbaijan side removed the bust of Admiral Hovane Sisakov, a son of Western Armenia, from the occupied city of Stepanakert. The offer of the bust is the sculptor Albert Hayatunyan. The bust was installed in 2018. Admiral Hovane Sisakov was born on August 22, 1894, in the village of Hajishen, Kars region. He was an Armenian. Admiral of the Navy of the Soviet Union and Admiral, a hero of the Soviet Union, a military terrorist. The observation allows us to assume that the Azerbaijan side has begun to purposefully remove and eliminate the status and past erected in the city of Stepanakert during the Soviet years and in the last 30 years. Azerbaijan has violated the provisions of the Hague, Geneva, and international humanitarian law on the protection of cultural values in occupied territories. 
In the framework of international humanitarian law, cultural heritage is considered an exclusive expression of human creative thought, the destruction of damage of which directly violates the cultural rights of people, multi members, either during war or after war. Article 8 of the International Criminal Court considers that the destruction of cultural heritage in occupied territories and international war crime, it is forbidden to international direct attack to a structure dedicated to religion, education, art, science, or charity, historical monuments, hospital, unless they are military targets. The various relations and processes that take place during the occupations are regulated by the international humanitarian law. The 48th, 49th, and 14th, and the 41st rules of international humanitarian law refers to the protection of cultural values. It is extremely important to emphasize that the fact that the International Court of Justice has confirmed that the laws enforced in the occupied territories, including provisions for the protection of cultural values, have acquired the state inter of international customary law. That is, they act as a universal and inescapable rule and are binding in all states. The Declaration on the Deliberate Destruction of Cultural Heritage, adopted in 2003 by the General Conference of UNESCO at its 33rd session in Paris, proposes principles for the protection of cultural heritage in the occupied territories during and after armed conflicts. Article 9 of the Second Protocol of 1999 to the 1955 Hug Convention for the Prote Protection of Cultural Property in the Event of Armed Conflict also prohibited the destruction of cultural property in areas under enemy control. This was all for today. Goodbye. Hey!